Hey guys, this is the Confuzzle Cat, and welcome to a series I announced I would be doing, and that is in fact QTKTB Quest to Kill the Bosses. Now, I said in my announcement video when I w that I'd do this, I would do it in the same seed world. So, that's the seed for the world if I copied it correctly. It should, it looks pretty correct. So we'll actually see if that's at all right. I know I should spawn in like a forest by like an ocean, and that there should be a taiga biome near me. So, I'll just turn my fan away, I have no idea if that actually helps, or like, makes the audio worse, decreases the quality of it, but you know. I'll just have it anyway because it is excruciatingly hot inside of my room right now. You guys don't even know, like this is what July is like basically anywhere, I would guess unless you're in like, Nunavut. Okay, I got the seed wrong. <laughs> well then, well, we can still go with this. Like. What's the seed in this world? Oh my god, it's the same one? That just means I copied it wrong. Well, that's okay, because we got stuff here, and also, it, it's a good, like, challenge, I suppose. I need to turn on my sounds. Like, seriously, it's it's only at 100 right now, and I can barely hear it. Hold on. Uh, let's get it up to 60. There we go. And then turn this down a bit. Okay, 80 is in computer sounds, and 60 for game sounds. That's 140% sound, even though that makes no sense mathematically. So, let's just get through to it. I am not being joined by anybody today, but I hope to be joined by people in the future, like I said. Um, so we might be seeing a little multiplayer action going on with this series in the future. But this is the part I always like about being in Minecraft survival mode. Whether you're just doing straight survival or you're doing a quest to kill the bosses. I always love, like, that first day when you're just punching wood and killing those pigs and, like, going through this cave or whatever or what have you because it's just, it's kind, it's got such a nice feeling to it. It was kind of like that feeling that I got when I first played Unturned. Well, not first, but, like, when I play Unturned. <laughs> um, ooh, that's kind of interesting how it kind of leads into there. So, it's just that feeling. Ooh, I hear a skeleton. That's kind of like euphoric, I suppose, is a good way to describe it. Skeleton. Skeleton. Um, should I just... Oh my god. Sh I'm not gonna mess with it. I'm gonna head up here. And I'm gonna mine stone over here. And, like, potentially get some uh, stone sword crafted. I hear a zombie, but it should burn in the daylight if it gets close to me. So, let's get 19 stone as I always do. I know this is kind of sounding like a tutorial, but whatever. Basically, I get 19 stone because that can make a full set of stone tools, including a hoe, as well as one furnace. And of course, I'll get more in the future if need be, but not for right now. Because right now, all I need to do is make a sword and kill that dang skeleton. And I'll, of course, craft the rest of my tools in a second. But killing the skeleton is pretty important. Mainly because, again, achievement. Ooh, there's more down there. Is there potentially a spawner down there? Perhaps? I suppose it's always entirely possible, though. Just seeing two skeletons isn't too uncommon. So we need a furnace, and then we'll make... It can see me. <laughs> it can see me. <laughs> so, that, that, you and an axe because you know those are definitely the proper names i'll kill this skeleton and i can see that there's coal over there i probably should have kept some of my wood so i can make charcoal but first because i'm already apparently very hungry let me go get the let me go get a pig i just get a pig. and i can seeing as i got three i can just use two of my wood planks and that will cook it up exactly as it is and not wasting any fuel whatsoever so we got two pigs there um i'll just stick with this one for now need to eat this it's, it's not got the best saturation like i i suppose like baked potatoes would have the best saturation oh there's another one over there so baked potatoes obviously I think have the best saturation, but you know meat, cooked meat is pretty good too. And you know an extra meat here would could never hurt anybody. So 
Uh, I don't actually know why I ended Quest to Kill the Bosses. I don't know if, if I may have deleted the world on accident, or whatever it was, or if I just wanted to start a new series and I wasn't really feeling this one, but I'm like actually feeling this one. Because I want, I want to make a lot of progress and go fairly fast so that I can kill all these bosses, but not also, in the process, you know, have some fun with some other people on the world. Let's not mine through to the water, please. Thank you. Make some torches. There we go. Ooh, iron. I didn't- I sh I'm blind. I should have seen this earlier. I suppose I was too cautious, though. I suppose you could never be too cautious in Minecraft. You know, being careful is always a good thing, even not in Minecraft. Like, out in the world, when you're doing whatever, so I guess it's okay to be kind of cautious. I'm not going to get too much coal because I don't want to waste too much time with this, but I'm just going to get these other four blocks. And I'm going to place a torch up in here, again, because I'm way too cautious. I like that I got six here, six iron ore. I would have preferred a multiple of eight. I always prefer multiples of eight, and I will at least get eight here, and more than that. But I like getting things that you cook or smelt in multiples of eight, because then it can be used to, like, be divided up uh, with coal. I actually... I see, I see it with a lot of bigger YouTubers, especially. Um, they use too much fuel. Like, they put in way too much fuel, and then fuel ends up wasted, being wasted. Because, oh my god, this is a big cave. This is a decent cave. So, they'll end up wasting fuel because they're either talking and they're not paying attention or they just don't know about the fuel division rules. Like, I don't know all of them. Like, I could always refer to the wiki. My recorder w would only ever show the game, though. So, yeah. Ooh, I heard another skeleton. Here you go. Just light this place up a little bit and then get all of this iron. We are not having the worst first day. This is actually going fairly well. And also, just a little disclaimer, I don't know if this actually means anything to any of you guys. Ooh, let me just smelt this now. I don't know if this means anything to any of you guys, but I, uh, this is a pre-recording. I know I'm going to have to do something on Friday, which is tomorrow in my time, B so I can't do some- so I can't really skip that, and it's going to take a while to do that thing, so I could- I wouldn't have time to pre-record, especially because I'm doing a lot of catching up with different YouTube series. I have to binge-watch a lot of videos in order to catch up. Like, it's seriously so many series that I have to catch up with. Seriously so many series. Uh, sometimes I say things and I just I say something that's kind of amazing in and of itself and I don't even realize it until I say it. I don't know if that happens to any of you guys, but it happens to me quite a bit. Found some random double tall grass in there. So this cave just loops back around, so it's nice that we know that we're getting all the area on this side and we can focus on others. Okay getting quite a bit of iron here like we should who this is actually not going too bad let me make an iron sword uh, of course I'm gonna use my stone sword still please don't yell at me in the comments <laughs> um, for kind of like not doing what I'm supposed to do and like going straight to my better weapon I just don't really do that. I like using things up, except for my wooden pickaxes. Always except for my first wooden pickaxe. Except for my first wooden pickaxe, I really never, um, hold on. Except for my first wooden pickaxe, I always try to use all of my tools and weapons. It's just because the wooden pickaxe is sentimental, whereas your fourth stone sword or whatever you have, don't know why you'd get up to your fourth but your fourth stone sword or whatever. Like, you would want to use all of it, get everything you can out of it, and then move on, because you can get a lot more stuff done. And I know I could always get a lot more stuff done by using up my wooden pickaxe, but again, I have a weird sentimental attachment to it. 
Okay, so there's a little more iron up here that I missed. I have no clue if it's nighttime or not. But what I do know is that I have to kill that bat, first of all. Bats annoy me. <laughs> In this game, they're very annoying to me. What I do have to do is make some armor so that when I do head out, because I'm not going to stay in this cave forever, because that would be pretty boring to you guys. Whew, I, I All I can do right now is wait for this iron to smelt, so I'm going to go check out some further depths of the cave. Let me just make... A I heard an enderman. I just heard an enderman screech. Well, not screech, but like, you know, that weird sound. I heard- I see some lava up there. I don't know if I should go up or down, but I do know that the skeleton is just right here, so this is pretty easy. Does that lead up to surface? Either way, I'm not going up there. I really don't feel like it. Whew, I- I think it- I think the enderman's down here somewhere. Nope, not down here. But I like getting these little branches torched up. I- I just kind of like that. I get so satisfied with knowing, like, this area is done. And then I can move on. So it seems that I've basically gotten all of this cave. Of course, if I miss something pretty big, feel free to yell at me in the comments saying, You missed this part! And of course, I won't know what you're talking about unless I go back and, like, really look for it. Let me grab some more iron. In my opinion, you can never really have too much iron. Especially when you're starting out and you might die quickly. And I do have a tendency to die quickly. I hear a zombie. Why am I acting like that's a huge world problem? It's not. <sighs> okay, let's make a chest plate. That will help put in more coal and my the rest of my iron. Whew, not, not too bad. Just need seven more of that, of iron. And then we can head up and probably make a little shelter. Not probably. We'll make a little shelter. Because shelters help. That's always my motto. Shelters help. That, that This is so bad. Um, so, I don't know what to do right now because I, I have to wait for my iron to smoke and I have to make commentary. Ooh, there's that zombie that I was hearing. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, I did forget another game. I'm sorry to everybody. I'm actually sorry to everybody who saw this game and is like, oh, it goes decently deep, and I know I just passed iron, don't kill me. Um, I will never need this much iron unless I need to make, like, a second anvil. Because, you know, because I will be making an anvil. Because if I find, if I find some, uh, yeah, if I find, like, a lot of enchanted books, which I do plan to do once I get down into the depths then you will know I will be doing enchanting in whatever way I can. So, seeing as this video is actually getting somewhat long, at least for the point right now, I'm going to take out all of the coal, and whatever iron doesn't make it, I'll s well, basically it will smelt. Like, what will smelt will smelt, and I will take that. But... What doesn't end up smelting all the way, which is going to be most of it, I am just going to take that out and probably cook it off camera because that stuff's super boring and you never want to see that. So, I'm going to take my crafting table, actually. Ooh. Actually, no. I know what I'm going to do. I don't... No, I won't be able to get enough out of it. I would, I would say if I can get nine out of this, I'm going to make an iron block to start helping towards that anvil cause. But that's not going to end up happening. I'm only going to get like eight out of this cook, I guess, would I, I would call it. Let's take about half of that out already because I know it's, this is the last one. Last one. Let's get this. There we go. So, let's grab our furnace. And it's almost certainly nighttime by now. Like, I would be seriously shocked if it were still daytime. Bat. Bat going the wrong way because I'm getting all discombobulated by having a by having an almost constant commentary. Wow, I, I really can't do anything, can I? I really just cannot do anything. Oh my god. Well, this is unexpected. 
You guys probably know the way out, don't you? I already went up here. Ooh. Well then, I missed this. Let me just get out. Like, I don't want to, like, go on another adventure for today. I've had enough adventuring for a one day. Reached my max, and I hear zombies. Not a big deal. Breaking the number one thing. Gonna dig straight up into a hill, of course, because my luck is, like, the best ever. And then... Alright, so... We got a decent amount of monsters around because I neglected to make a shelter. But, you know, I'm on 1.8.9. Combat is not terrible in 1.8.9. I need to turn down my monster sounds. Of course, fight him off, though. Hold on. Yeah, he stopped. So, seriously, hostile creatures, like, you guys need to turn down. And you're like, turn down for what? But like, seriously, turn down for my viewer's sake and for my sake, because I'm wearing headphones right now. And I don't like... And like, you guys being loud is not going to help my video quality whatsoever. Because, you know, quality... <laughs> Was I seriously about to just say quality matters? Of course. Alright. I need to make a shelter. Shelter, 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 shelter down there. This will- Did I seriously just say I was gonna make a shelter at the bottom of a pit? This looks like a dried out river. That- That would not be smart. If you guys have never made a shelter before in Minecraft and you're just watching this for like, advice and to pick up on one thing I do, here is another tip. Do not build it at like the bottom of a hill or like at the- Or like at a river when there are hills surrounding you. Like, not a good idea. Whatsoever. Especially if you're on, like, a multiplayer server that has PvP and it's kind of like a war server. Then definitely don't do it. Because you will not have... You will not have advantage of height over your enemy. Because they're most likely going to be attacking you from up top. Because it's pretty hard to get like at the bottom of something like that unless you're like digging from underground this is a somewhat epic battle not really because i'm getting destroyed and all i have to eat is a spider eye and probably some rotten flesh which is why i'm retreating into the mountains and i'm going to make a shelter up there hopefully this video doesn't get too long it's already up to seven it's already up to just under 18 minutes so like sheep Sheeps for life. It's really like sheeps for life. I am amazed at some of the things I say. Sheeps for life. Oh, that that must have been where the lava was. Over there. If any of you guys remember that, you probably remember it. that was in the same video. Sorry, I'm super nasally right now. It takes down my video quality quite a bit. But all I know is I have mutton, and so I can cook that. And I also have wool for a bed. So let's really quickly... Actually, I guess it will be temporary and it won't be so bad. So let me just make a shelter right here. And just dig my way in. There we go. Yeah, this this is feeling a lot better than I was before. Furnace, crafting table. Let's make a torch. Because I need torches. Put one right there. Let's make a door. Because doors matter. And if I just crafted buttons there, I would actually be really mad. So, let's make a chest. Dump all our stuff. Let's make a bed. We'll sleep in that. I'll put some stuff. I'll put some stuff into smelt, but of course, then I'll cut off the video because nobody wants to see me smelting stuff. There we go. This is not bad. This is actually a decent start. You've got my first shelter. All looking good. And in the next video. I don't actually know what I'll do. I've, 
I seriously don't know what I should do. You guys can tell me what you want me to do. But in the next video, I will be making actually a fishing rod and going fishing. Because fishing is clearly going to be a source of stuff. So, I may do a little bit of mining off camera. But don't worry, I won't get into like any huge ravines. Because if I get into a huge ravine, I'll just leave, come back here, and then wait until I record my next video. Because I don't think I would be able to handle recording multiple videos in one day. I tried recording, I think my, like my record is like three videos in one day, and my voice was so gone by the end of like even recording, like once I was like two and a half videos into that recording session, it was so bad that I couldn't even upload those videos. I think I was able to upload one of those videos, but my voice was just so gone, so don't record too many videos in one day if you're like an aspiring young YouTuber, and definitely don't like upload too much as well, but you know. I I am not one to give YouTube advice. I have like barely over a hundred subscribers, which of course, thank you, like that's awesome, because I never expected to actually get even that popular. But seeing as I'm not like freaking Green or PewDiePie or anybody, of course it's daytime and forget to sleep. But you know, I am not one to give YouTube advice, seeing as I don't have that many subscribers. So, you guys are probably shouting at my face, saying, you should have slept. And yes, I should have slept. That's a very intelligent thing to say, even to just scream at your computer or your mobile device. I, I don't even think anybody watches me on mobile devices. But anyway, I will sleep off camera, of course. I will cook some food. I will get all this iron sorted out. Okay. So, I thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye!